page of your site, it's the same same dates that you said. You want to move on to music news before you cry? I know. All right. Wow, well, we, I feel bad about this. Can you see I feel bad about <laughs> yeah, this? Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, wow, we. You're all choked up. That's why you're so sick. You're just worrying. And it, Morons, uh, I tell you, Joshua. You know who runs. doesn't need publicity? This lady... Ja Ja character. But you know what? She's got this album that just came out. We'll get to the album uh, in a little bit and just how astonishing the numbers are. Yeah, the are. numbers. We were just looking at numbers here in the station. Yeah. It was like, wow. Yeah, but first of all, uh, E Street Band saxophonist Clarence Clemens is on the album. I had no idea really? about this. Yeah, uh, he was called uh, on a Friday afternoon by Lady Gaga's uh, people and they said, she has a song she'd like you to play on it for the new album. Uh, he was like, you know what, I'm free Monday or Tuesday. They said, no, she needs you now. He's, he was in Florida. So he drove to the airport right away. He said he almost got a speeding ticket, flew into Manhattan, got to the studio about midnight. He's walking in, and she ran out, and she goes, big man, and, you know, gave him a big hug. I guess she played him the song. She didn't give him, you know, much, you know, she said, just do whatever you want, play from your heart. And uh, the song is called Hair. And it's going to be on the album, and she just let him play. Within three hours, they were done. Uh, but he said he was really excited. He said he loves Lady Gaga, and he was really excited that he was asked. And to this do album that. is more rock and roll album, anyways, isn't it? I think I, I read that somewhere. Yeah, and I read. I haven't heard wow. the actual song, but it, it supposedly has a Springsteen vibe to it. Really? Yeah. So that's why you know she wanted to have. Um, the name of this uh, album is. Uh, born This Way. Born This Way. Yeah. And the and, single is also Born This Way. Correct? Yeah, and we were talking about some of the numbers. In less than half a week, it sold close to half a million. It was on iTunes uh, for less than half a week, and it was downloaded half a million times. Unbelievable. It's the, and it's the quickest selling single the in the history of iTunes. single in the history of iTunes. Which is quicker selling than uh, the Beatles stuff is now on iTunes, too, right? Yeah. It, I mean, this thing blew up. Wow. I can't believe it. But... Uh, did you see her at the at the Grammys? I see, I seen some highlights stuff. I, I didn't watch the Grammys. Um, that was last week Sunday, correct? Yeah, we were, we were at, at, at Eric Church. Church. I watched a lot of the videos. Uh, moving on, that that brings us into our next music news story. The Grammys had their best TV ratings in the past eleven years this year. Really? Yeah, I get. Uh, they had over twenty six million viewers. It's the largest in the past eleven years. Um, they had a lot of great performances. I wasn't able to watch it live. I watched a lot of stuff. I bet YouTube. you the part of the reason why is because of her. Yeah, I mean, her, she was, she was going to do that song. Mick Jagger she... performed, and uh, my favorite performance was from the night was a band called Mumford and Sons, and one of the, a band that I really really like uh, called the Avett Brothers. Uh, they did their songs, and then they duetted with uh, Bob Dylan on uh, Maggie's Farm, and that was a great performance. But uh, the Grammys were a great success this year. So twenty six million. Tw- over twenty six million this That's year. That's like an American Idol. Yeah, it is an American Idol. You know that really is. And then uh, also in music news, Radiohead this week, on Wednesday, they announced that they were coming out with their new album. and it Don't be... do it if it's going to get us hated by Radiohead. No, people. no, check this out. I think this is really... Okay. All right? Just, just don't even say it if we're going to get hated. Listen, now. we're going to ride it out, okay? All right. Radio said, Radiohead said Wednesday that they're going to release their new album. I can't take it anymore, Josh. I can't take being called all kind of names. I know. Let me rip your cheers. Let me rip your cheers. Uh, <laughs> Uh, they said no one even knew they were working on an album. I guess this was real hush hush. Uh, and then they just you know came out and they said you know we have an album. It's going to be available for download this weekend. Really? Uh, yeah, just out of nowhere. They actually uh, put it up a day earlier than they said they would. And uh, so this new album is out. It will be in stores March 28th, but it's available for download on their website right now. And I guess it comes with. Uh, just a ton of stuff, over 300 uh, pieces of art that come with it. Uh, it's just a whole package, but they just out of nowhere said, hey, we have an album that they were secretly recording that they put up for download. They ha- they have a history doing that kind of stuff, Radio. Yeah, they, their last album, this album is called The King of Limbs. Their last album, uh, In Rainbows, uh, they sort of set the bar or uh, sort of, you know, broke the mold when they released it uh, by themselves on their website, and they told fans, you know, pay whatever you want for it. If you want to download that's it, right, that's what it was. Yeah. And they were, but, you know, if you, you could pay whatever you want. And uh, so that was really cool. They had a history of, you know, breaking the mold. So, but they uh, handled that from their own website? They, they, so it's not an iTunes thing? It's, no, it's, it's on their website. This one, uh, you do have to pay $9 for the MP3 or $14 for the lossless WAV files, WAV files. No, let me ask you this. So, uh, you don't, off the top of your head, I'm not. I don't mean to put you on the spot. Okay. But you don't know off the top of your head how the how well the other album did. 
I don't, but I know it was very well received by fans. I don't know how it did, you know, money-wise or that, but I know it was considered a very good album by fans, and a lot of people enjoyed it. And they, that's a, uh, Radiohead is a band that their fans, I mean, I, all bands, their fans keep them alive, but yeah. I hate to say they have a cult following, because, but, they but really they're do. so not mainstream. Yeah, they're... That, I know what you mean. It's sort of like REM. I sort of feel is the same way. Yeah. Where you know they're not a huge mainstream band, but they. Just I have think REM at times had more periods yeah, they, of they mainstream did. acceptance. I mean, the only song I could think of them that had any mainstream acceptance was that Creep. Yeah, and they refused to play that. Did you know that? They won't play it live. They won't play it live. I don't know if they have recently, but I know as of a couple of years ago, they refused to play it live because they didn't want to be the band you know that has Creep. Yeah. So I think that's kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, it's and, and like like you say, they're you know very much like. Um, like Dave Matthews or any other band out there, but they, those guys are really uh, uh, making a difference as far as as far as that goes. Did you see really quickly? Did you see Prince played? I think it might have been New York City. I'm not 100 percent sure where it was, and he kicked Kim Kardashian off the stage. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, he called her up on. I meant to show you this video in the office. Um, he called her up on stage, and it's part of the show. He's, okay. Uh, and and he'll dance with somebody for a while, and then he'll kick him off the stage. Well, Kim okay. wouldn't dance, so he's like, "Get off my stage." You know, which really? is part of the show. He was he was just being silly. He was yeah. being you know malicious, yeah. but at all. Too but, bad uh, he can't kick her off TV. <laughs> I, I nothing irritates me more than people who are celebrities for no reason. You know what I I did hear this week though that she needs to be on TV. Last year alone, the Kardashian sisters made sixty million dollars. I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. sixty five million dollars for yeah. doing nothing. And they have a lawsuit, a big lawsuit pending right now with the company that did the visas for them. Uh, somebody reneged on a contract or, or, or there was some. Actually, you know what it was? Really quickly, it was uh, the fees that the credit card company was charging, they never negotiated. And they felt their fans were being ripped off, which I, I kind of respect them for this. Uh -huh. So they're, they stopped doing the credit card, that Kardashian credit card, uh -huh. and, and now they're suing them. Really? On behalf of the fans, I'm sure. I'm sure they'll split that I'm money. Sure the gonna, I'm sure they're going to mail. The fans will get checks in the mail. Of course. Signed by the Kardashians. Of course. Next week, we had a great show. We've got um, Corey Wells is going to be on from Three Dog Night um, and a Buffalo native, Buffalo living yeah. legend. Um, that's going to be next week. I want to thank Diva Showband this week. I want to thank John Hutchins from uh, uh, Rapids Theater. Once again, folks, you're listening to Heard It on the X. And if you heard it, you heard it on the X.